All right, we want to express in scientific notation. Okay, so I start with a small number. I start with a small decimal. Okay, so I'm with a point zero zero two three. So I need to move my decimal place one, two, three times, so that I have two point three times ten. And since I start with a small number like this, a small decimal, I'm going to have a negative exponent. All right, when I start with a large number like 14,000, that means I'm going to have a positive exponent. But I'm going to move my decimal one, two, three, four times. So 1.4 times 10 to the fourth power. All right, the other ones are very similar to this. That's why I just did these two. Okay. Um, let's see, what's next? So I'll be right down with the problem. I'm doing six, seven. All right, the next two, I'm going to do 11 and 14. Again, pretty straightforward stuff. So if I have a positive exponent here, that means I want to move my, I want my, I want my, I want my number to become bigger. If it's a positive exponent, my number should become bigger. If it's a negative, my number should become smaller. So let's make this bigger. Move it to the right. One, two, oh, it's just 436. That one was, wasn't too bad, was it? All right, this next one, I got to move it negative five times, meaning five times to the left. So I got one, four, five. So I'm going to move it five times. One, two, no spot, put a zero. Three, four, five. So my answer is 0 0.1234145. Boom. That wasn't too bad. All right, let's keep going. Um, more talks about, this is more exponent stuff, but I'm going to do it anyway. So perform these operations and make sure your answers are in scientific notation. Um, this is a pow exponent power. All right, so I want to do... 2.12 to the third power times 10 to the sixth. I multiply these two. Okay, I want to treat these two things separately. Uh, 2.12 to the third. 2.12 to the third is 9.53. So I'll write that as 9.53 times 10 to the sixth. And since I didn't have to move my decimal point at all, I don't need to change my exponent. All right, let's try number 18. Uh, I'm going to multiply my constants. So 5.11 times 1.49, and that becomes times 10 to the negative fifth since I add my exponents. I add these two. All right, so I have 5.11 times 1.49. 5.11 times 1.49 equals 7.61. Again, I'm very lucky. I don't have to change my, don't have to change my whatever you call it at all, my scientific notation. Oh, this is our last one with scientific notation. So I'm actually, how we're going to do this is I'm actually going to divide 5. 0.5 divided by 2.81. That's going to be times 10 to the negative second. Remember, I subtract these two. Okay, so 5.5 divided by 2.81 equals 1.957, so 1.96. So again, I'm lucky I don't have to adjust my, my exponential, excuse me, my scientific notation. All right. Uh, I think I'm going to pause here. Yes, I'm going to pause here.